What's up, y'all? This has got to be Clean Television, and I'm here with my boy right now. We got a new interview, the second episode of my new show, 2022 Hip Hop Now, which is dedicated to the artists that's out right now, pounding the pavement, dropping music, pushing the hard line, and getting out here and really doing it. So I want to start off with, what's your name, my man? My name is Mike Fish. Mike Fish, okay. Mike Fish, yeah. Okay. Uh, where are you from? Um, currently Oakland, California. Okay. I've been in Oakland, California for about 11 years now. Okay, so yeah. before that, where you, where you... Before that, I was, um, I was up in Mendocino County, California. I was bouncing around. I was, uh, there, and then I was, um, I was in Santa Barbara. I was down there doing some music, filming the video, and living there for a couple months, working, and then... I was in Huntington Beach for a while, doing the L.A. thing, doing open mics, trying to get to the OP people. Oh, okay. Yeah. So where was you born and raised? Like, where was you born at? Well, it's funny. I was born in Missouri, St. Joseph, Missouri. Nice. Okay. But both my parents are from Southern California. Nice. But they moved out. They, my dad had a job. He, he got promoted and went out to Missouri and had me, had me out there. Nice. And then not long after that, moved back to Southern California. Okay. How was it out there? I, I we left when I was like two or three. I don't remember it at all. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we went back to Southern Cal, so so I always kind of yeah. say I'm from Southern Cal. So you like Southern yeah. Cal? So you grew up in Southern Cal? Yeah, I grew up. Yeah, partly in Southern Cal. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whereabouts? Riverside, Riverside, California. Yeah. Okay, okay. Dope. And then you moved to Oakland. Mm -hmm. Long story short, moved to Oakland in um, 2012. Nice, nice, yeah. nice. How you like it in the in this Bay Area? It's cool. I like it. I mean, just off tops on some real simple shit on the surface. Yeah, you can't beat the weather, you know. Right, dope, it's dope, nice dope. Out, yeah, and we, people are cool. I think people are hella cool out here. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. I've heard that before from uh, some cats from Southern Cali say yeah. how how it's a smoother, like a more mellower pace up here. Yeah, you know. Well, what got you into hip hop? I would have to say just, you know, basically hearing the music and falling in love with it. But um, my older brother is seven years older than me. Then we got a sister in the middle. She's four years older than me. But my older brother had good taste in hip hop and he was in the know, you know, down at Riverside. He had, he had his crew and um, he always had the dope tapes. He had all the tapes, dope. you know, so. Dope. As his little brother, I would get to go in his room and listen to him all the time. And just be and I got the same story. Yeah, infatuated my older, by it, you know? Right. My older brother put me on, too. He was he really? was always playing music and blowing out speakers and shit yeah. and all of that. I feel you. I feel that. How much older is he than you? Same. About same six about, years. Yeah. About six years, yeah. That's yeah. a beautiful thing, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, how did you get your name? Well, <clears throat> I'm going to snitch on myself, I guess. My, my legal name... Is Mike Fisher or Michael Fisher? <laughs> so everybody started calling me Mike Fish when I hit when I got on the scene in like sixth grade. You know, <laughs> coming of age, like yeah, I started rapping at about fifteen or sixteen, but everybody Dope. already knew me as Mike Fish. You know, right? I was a I was a respected skateboarder in my community. That's so everybody knew me as that, and yeah, just kind of stuck with it. That's hella dope. Yeah, that's hella dope. Um, what what music did you listen to growing up? Um, I listen to <clears throat> uh, Big Daddy Kane comes to mind, um, Easy E, Dope. N.W.A., Pete Rock and Seal Smooth, yeah. Tribe Called Quest, De La Soul, um, DJ Quick, DJ Quick, yeah. Dope, dope. And then, excuse me, getting into just I'm okay now. Um, <laughs> but then, then uh. Like, as I started coming of age in junior high, I started getting my own CDs and stuff. Yeah. And a homie of mine put me on to, uh, like, a lot of East Coast stuff, like Nas and Mob Deep yeah. and, uh, you know, things like that. That's dope. That's the dope. Alcoholics, yeah. Shit, while we on that subject, what, what's your top five MCs? <laughs> Ooh, I'm just going to rattle them off without thinking about them. Big Daddy Kane, KRS One, The RZA, um, Mike and Nine, and... Who? Who's for? Mike and Nine. Mike from Nine. Freestyle Fellowship. Okay, okay. Out of LA, yeah. Right. If you haven't heard of Mike and Nine, go check him out. He's dope. Oh, yeah. Okay. And now I got number five, uh, Ice Cube. Ice Cube. That's yeah. dope. Ice Cube, uh, I think Ice Cube fits for me, too. Cool. Um, uh, oh, do you think Eminem should be in the top ten? Yeah. He definitely, definitely made so. it in the top ten. How about the top five? 
to me, that comes down to your opinion, you know? Right. Comes What's your opinion? Flavor. Well, there's two different ways to look at it. Like, is he <laughs> my fa is it my favorite rappers or is it ones that I think are the best rappers? Ones that you think are your favorite rappers. My favorite rappers. Favorite rappers would be what I just said: KRS One, uh, Big Daddy King, okay. Ice Cube, Mike and Nine, and uh, Vanilla Ice. No, I'm just playing, but something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, right. like best. But rappers? so he'll come like six then, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so he'll come but, six in there. Maybe yeah, I can put six, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> in there, all right. Well, okay. for another one? Uh, I already yeah. forgot what I said before. Uh, Boots from the Coop. Oh, I love Boots. Boots is dope, right? Man, yeah. dope as fuck. I, I just got some newer, some music from them, yeah. man, and that I hadn't heard coming up. And I'm still looking for that Genocide and Juice and some other ones. Yeah, man. But, uh, yeah, I was, man, I was slapping that for a while. Definitely. Just like going, like working, just slapping yeah. that, yeah. yeah. Shout out to the Coops. They dope. Definitely. But, yeah, um, did I ask you when you started doing music? Um, no, I don't think so. I started, uh, I started freestyling and writing raps at around 15, 16, okay. and then, um, started recording songs on a real hoopty setup with a doctor sample, a turn, ta turntables, a mixer to sample shit, yeah. and, uh, and, uh, like a SM58 microphone and, and a tape, tape recorder. That was at like around 21 years old. We started making tapes like that. Yeah, that's dope. And then it evolved from there, you know. Yeah. That's how I see. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, what artists have you worked with? I've worked with, um, well, my old group person people. KP, Mobo, Mez, Sorsky, Adam Bong. Um, just the name of those guys. And then um, I've worked with the Monolith, Majestic. Uh, I've worked with... Uh, um, Buku One worked with. Uh, I recorded artifacts at the studio. That was really cool. That's really cool. Yeah, Karen Less, uh, Cromwell, Love Street. Uh, I worked with Scarab um, from uh, Living Legends. Okay. Yeah, I worked with Scarab. Yeah. Dope, dope. So you you make beats too? I do make beats too. Yeah. Okay, and then you record and mix and yeah, master. And master yeah. Okay, yeah, you got some dope beats. Thanks, um, man. Um, but I, I would rather just stick to rhyming, though, to be honest. Right, right. But I can make beats, but yeah. That's dope, okay. Yeah. So you're a rapper first, MC yeah. first. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. What would you be, would you be, would you, what would you rather, a rap, be a rapper or an MC? Probably, I mean, either one, but MC, I don't mind a rapper, you know. Right, right, okay. Um, what artists would you like to work with? Um... I think I would like to work with. I've always wanted to work with the RZA. Hmm. Um, I think maybe working with KRS One to be cool. It's kind of far fetched though. Um, <laughs> Why you say you know. that? <laughs> you huh? No, take that back. Edit it. No, nah, I mean, but that would be cool though. I heard KRS One's actually hella cool to work with people yeah. that are like in in the know. You know. That, but I mean, you don't think he'll fuck with you? Yeah, I think you would though. Actually, I think you would. I take that back. Oh, okay. I think you yeah, because I was wondering why. You, Given the right circumstances. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mike and Nine would be cool to work with. Uh, Dope. I've worked with Peaks from Freestyle Fellowship. I've worked with him again. Um, who else? That's a tough question. Uh, that's about it, I guess. Oh, okay. What music are you listening to now? A lot of times, I listen to my own shit because while I'm making it, you know? like mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like I don't got time to listen to other people's stuff, which I should, but um, I'm too busy making my own stuff a lot of times. Historically, but um, I listened to Kendrick Lamar's new album the other night. That was super tight. Okay, okay. And and, and I have plans to listen to a lot more people. Five right? mics? Would you give it five mics? Um, I would probably give it four. That's dope. Yeah, That's but there's dope. some standout tracks that I would give five to. You know. That's hard. Yeah, okay. I gotta listen to it. I haven't That's listened good, to it. Man. Yeah. Um, what projects do you have coming out? Um, I got a project with a producer named Celador. Okay. That's coming out soon, and I think we're gonna call it Idled Hands. Um, That's dope. Yeah, and I'm still kind of recording like one or two songs to throw on, and then we're gonna throw it out, put it out. 
Right, right. Put it out there, not throw it out. Who does your production besides yourself? Um, Mike Walty, the big one. He's out of Berkeley. He, okay. He's worked. He's worked with a lot of cats like uh, Latirix and Lyrics Born, and uh, who else? He, he's worked with a lot of people. But he makes a lot of my beats. Odd Nosdem from Anacon makes a lot of my beats. Oh, okay. Yeah, I make some of them. Uh, Celador makes a lot of my beats too. All right, all right. Adam Bomb. I'm sorry, I gotta mention this. Adam Bomb makes some beats for me too. Oh, that's dope. That's yeah, dope. we got plans. Yeah. What is your favorite song that you made? Mm. Either my latest one, which is called Well Being, Well Being, um, produced by Odd Nazim, or that's the latest single released, yeah. or this one called Lumberjack Rap. I like this one called Lumberjack Rap off of this album. Dope. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to check that out too. I want to hear that. Cool. Um. Describe your music, like, describe your sound. Uh, my sound is like, uh, I'd say for lack of a better term, like underground a little bit. <laughs> Even though I feel like I've heard people say that saying it's underground just means it's not successful, you know, and hasn't been out there enough. But like, there's right. an actual sound with that, you know. But um, Right, right, right. It's a conscious, it's conscious hip hop. I'm all... I'm also definitely a student of my of, of you know my predecessors and shit. So like, definitely got an old school twang to it, you know. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. Um, what are your what are your goals in in uh, this music game? And do you have like a short a goal or like a short term goal or a long term goal? And I think a short term goal would be finish this Celador album. And finish another album and start producing more. Um, go to college at Chabot in the fall. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a Ableton and a Pro Tools class, and then uh, yeah, just kind of go from there. Those are short-term goals. I guess long-term goals would be like yeah. sell out arenas. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. Play shows, play shows at nightclubs and shit. You know? Hell yeah, that's dive bars and shit. That's fire. That's yeah. fire. Yeah. 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 Um how how which would you like to be known for or always remembered as? Mm. A really dope MC. That's dope. That's dope. Or actually, you know what? A good person. That's I'd rather be known as a good person than a good man that had principles and morals and you know that's fire right there yeah. that's fire yeah. that, that's harder than a dope MC <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that's fire hell yeah hell yeah uh, what do you think about the violence in hip hop mm. as far as lyrics go like uh, um, the violence in the lyrics or, or violence uh, yeah. actually happening between hip hop artists and shit yeah like yeah like that like that yeah what do I think about it I think uh, it might not be 100% necessary. Right. Uh, I guess I think that um, obviously could be handled in a different way. Right, right, right. But everybody's cut from a different cloth, you know, and has yeah. different beliefs and stuff. Facts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would say, like, just try to keep it safe and... Uh, yeah. Keep it music. Keep it music. Like yeah. it was back in the days. So, yeah. Like, yeah. That's it. Keep it music. Well, do you do you think like with the freestyle cats, it kind of go overboard with the shit talking? Well, yeah, with like, the extra like like talking about people, kids and and dead family members and disabled yeah. parents or whatever. You know, like going super cutthroat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do, do I think it's overboard? Maybe for me. Yeah. Maybe for some people it's overboard. Maybe yeah. for some people that are into it, like a. Like some sportsmanship on the battle out on the battlefront. Yeah. That comes with the territory and they understand that it's not well, personal, you know. Right, right. But to to my for, for me, mm -hmm. I think that's whack when they I think when you just consistently going after yeah. 
just talk, basically talking shit about somebody, yeah. family or wife or parents right. or whatever. It's that's, grimy. But yeah, it's grimy. Really battle, I want to hear lyrical. You right. know, I want you to like fuck me up with some words, some witty shit. Yeah, be, you know, be an intelligence. An intelligence. Yeah, not, not just that, what you can say about my my passed away family and shit. Yeah, know? yeah, exactly. So yeah, not how vicious you can be. Right, know? right, yeah. right. Yeah. I, I want more fools to get back. Well, certain a lot of fools are still lyrical, but I, yeah. some cats I, w- I want to be more lyrical and not as I'm going to just try to just be nasty about yeah, this shit. For sure. Because yeah. that ain't me, you know? Like right. to, I was saying, like, to each his own. Yeah. If they're in a battle and they know those are the rules like and they can handle it, that's cool. But, like, right. it's not my style, you know? Right, right. I'm not going to yeah. go rip on somebody because their grandma died or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. You know... Shoot, they they should start a battle where fools like just not necessarily not at all compliment each other, not at all. Don't get me wrong, but like do like can can do a song together, like rap about a subject. Yeah, where you know what I'm saying, different shit. That's you know what I'm saying, idea. just to do, just to switch it up a little, do some different shit. It's not always. And then I, I grab the gun and I lift up the, and woo, 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 you know, all yeah. that. Sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Just show me some lyrical shit. Show me some creative shit. Yeah. So you know? Creative. We're trying to be creative out here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Something that makes your brain think, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what hip-hop creative, is. Bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's, yeah. It's, Keep it music. Right, right, right. Not like confrontation, like physical confrontation. Right, right. I would right. say that, yeah. Hell yeah, man! That's a it's a dope interview. It's a Hell pleasure, yeah. man. And you got some dope music. Shout out your social media. All right, we got MikeFishMusic.net. That's the website where you can go get and order the uh, album Mike Fish Train Tracks, produced by Mike Walty. There's other stuff on there too. Um, my Instagram is MikeFishMusic. Be sure to give a follow on there and check out any updates. Um, just, um for booking. Fish Daddy Lover at gmail.com. Check that out if you want to book a show. And uh, what else? I got a new single. The L- latest thing released is a single by Odd Nosdom, produced by Odd Nosdom, wrapped by yours truly, called Well Being. You can check all that shit out on Spotify and YouTube. It's everywhere. Yeah. Dope, dope. And then your YouTube channel is Mike Fish also. That's right. The YouTube channel is Mike Fish. Yeah. Okay. And I'll be updating that soon too. Dope, More dope. often, yeah. Right on, man. Good interview. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for having me, you know. Hell yeah. Dope. Peace. Peace, peace, bro.